So today is the day that the car totally transforms and we get rid of these 16 inch super Legeras. These are nice lightweight wheels. Uh, we're planning on going bigger brakes at some point. So we thought we'd do it all in one go. So we've just took off the two wheels off this side. Um, we're gonna have to do arch work as well. So these were the wheels that are on it. Um, tatty, they needed a refurb. So um, while they're off, we can give them a refurb. But these got um, 88 R's on them. And for the road, for the track, uh, if you're gonna use them on both, they don't wear as much. They're still good on track. So we're gonna use them for the first couple of track days. Um, we're gonna get some slicks as well. So we're gonna take these um, wheels off the other side now. And we're gonna offer up the new wheels. So I'm gonna show you them now. So as you see in the last video, these are the new wheels. Um, Compromoted Mo 5 spokes. Um, we've just got some brand new 88 R's. These are 8J wheels and we've gone with uh, 215-40s just for a little bit uh, tight fitment because uh, a 215 on a 7.5J has got a, a big lip on it. So we wanted to have a bit more of a flatter sidewall on it so we can fit them under the arches because they've got quite a big offset on these. So the offset on these wheels are, are 32, which is going to be nice and wide. They absolutely, 32s absolutely fit the RS Turbo arches perfectly. Um, just going to need some modding, get that wide width. So as you see in the last video as well, these nasty caps, they was painted. You can see they're blue anodalized and these ones don't fit. It's almost like they was replicas. So they rattle around inside here. They don't fit properly. Someone put tape on them. So we've gone out and got some new ones. Um, some nice fresh ones. They're gonna look good. So it's gonna go to a stud conversion on this, but they didn't turn up in time. Uh, luckily we've got some uh, longer wheel bolts because stock wheel bolts, they don't fit. They're exactly the right taper for these wheel inserts because these have got Group A inserts in them. You can see um, these are wheels made for rally cars. So they're super strong. They're a little bit heavier then the wheels were taking off. So we've had all the tires put on today and they've all been fully balanced properly. Um, these wheels will be refurbished at some point. They're just uh, not up to show condition. Um, we're gonna obviously take them to a few shows. So for the people who don't know what uh, the Group A inserts are, these wheels would have been originally machined for an M14 stud. So obviously you can't run an M14 stud on any of the Ford hubs. So what Compromotive do is they put in these Group A inserts, which are an M12 fitment. And then obviously that fits the M12 by 1.5 stud, uh, four by 108 that the Ford run. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove these springs out of the wishbones or at the uh, lower arms. And that will allow us to drop this um, suspension down to its maximum height with the wheels on and we can get the clearance for the arches because the arch is going to have to be cut so we're going to get a proper fitment on the rear and the fronts so the first thing we're doing is we're, we're taking out the spring from the lower wishbone you can see we've already done it these springs are uh, coney ones so we're going to drop the car down to its maximum low and then that way we can cut out any of the arch that we need to cut out because getting these wheels to fit is more important than a set of arches so just a few finishing touches to the wheels as well. Um, you see in the last video, someone had painted over these compromotive caps and you can see they're really tatty and that anyway, that's probably why they painted over the top of them. So went to a compromotive direct and we managed to get some brand new caps for them. It wasn't cheap, but look at them. <laughs> they look a little bit better. So compare them to them. You can see why we didn't like the gray color ones. Blue anodalized aluminium, and these ones fit as well. Um, these ones are slightly undersized. I think it's because they've been misshaped. You can see they've been squashed and all sorts of stuff. These fit in there lovely. Um, these needed tape to fit in there. These slot in there lovely. So in the future, we're going to be going wheel stud and nut. That's going to be done very soon, but they couldn't get them here in time. We needed these on for the weekend. So we've got some longer wheel bolts. Um, we're going to try these in, maybe have to shorten them a little bit. They were a little bit long, but we want to go oversize just in case because of the group A inserts. Um, we didn't want to be too short. So we just pulled the body kit off um, so we could get a proper fitment. Now, that is without the spring on, um, the wishbone is up to its maximum level and the shock is compressed to its maximum level and we've still got um, rotational clearance, you can see there. It's perfect, perfect fitment. So we're gonna obviously tidy up the arches. We've just sanded them back. Um, I, thought, I thought we was gonna have to flare them out. We don't even have to do that. So we've cut the body kit as well. So anyone anyway, I think we're in the stance crew. We are going to uh, some shows in the summer, but 
look at that fitment. So looks like it's rubbing, absolutely perfect. So the um, shock is at max compression. It's got no spring in there, so it's never gonna go any higher than that. We've just sanded down the arch. We pulled this off so we can get some treatment down the back of it as well. But look how nice that looks. That is perfect fitment. You couldn't get a better fitment for the car. So that's how it's gonna look with the arches on. We've trimmed the arches out as well and you still got clearance there. So that is at max load. You can see you've still got movement in the wheel. Couldn't get any better fitment than that. So really pleased with how these are coming out. So now we've trimmed it all back. What we've done is we've gone over the whole of the inside with seam sealer. So we get no more rot in the inside where the join lines are. You can see how tidy that looks. Uh, nice and sealed, protected. And then just gonna, we just sanded back the edge here because obviously it burns through the paint when you grind it. So we're gonna just give that a bit of primer now because it's underneath the body kit as long as it's protected that's all good for us so just going over the arches now with a sink primer so we get no corrosion no rust uh, it's mad what you have to do just for a little bit of primer to stop the overspray so while the rear wheels are off just um deglazing these shoes in the drums uh because they go like a mirror finish so just uh sanded them down so they're nice and uh keyed up rough again just adjusted the handbrake as well being no brainer to do it while the drums are off also deglaze the inside of the drum just a bit more friction because uh, over time they start glazing up and they was uh, badly adjusted on the rear anyway so on the rear drum um, you have a screw that goes into the drum that holds it from rotating when you put in the wheel bolts now the problem is with that is um, on the back of the compromotives there is no recess in the back of the wheel so it will just sit proud of the drum and you won't be able to bolt it down properly so the way we've gone about that is took the drum off and we've countersunk the hole and that way we can have a countersunk fitting in there that sits nice and flush and the wheel can still go on and we can uh, still stop the drum from rotating because it gets really annoying when you're trying to pop wheel bolts in in the dark and the drum starts rotating or the disc starts rotating so the fronts are a little bit more difficult what we've done the same sort of thing as the rear we've took the spring out the strut so we can go at maximum compression so we've took that out and that way we can get the clear, exact clearances we need to cut out these arches and know that they're not gonna scrub. So it's looking proper Group A touring car spec with the wheels tucked under there like that. All the British touring cars back in the day had them tucked up in the arches, but the uh, wheel actually still rolls, even with that amount of clearance, you can see up there, absolutely perfect there is no spring up on the shock at the minute i can't really show you it but there's no spring up there so obviously we're never ever going to get that low but we just wanted the clearance for it anyway even with these meaty tires in there and the wide wheels and the offset we're running we're gonna have no scrubbing issues so as you can see it's got dark now but wheels are on uh, wheel bolts are shortened down a little bit because they was a bit too long for the drums um, we've just taped on the body kit. So just quickly uh, shortening down the wheel bolt length for the car because they're a bit long at the minute. We just wanted to work out uh, bolt size, stud size, where so we can do the uh, stud conversion. So just took 10 millimeters off them, just kind of quickly ball nose the end so we don't get no cross threading issues, but got nice uh, fresh wheel bolts to go on. So in order to get the clearance going up into the arch, we've literally took the whole, the anti-roll bar assembly off um, the ball joints, everything, uh, suspension obviously has been off so we can get the spring off. Um, just to get the clearances we needed, um, it's well worth doing it because I don't want any sort of scrubbing, but it's stuff that you don't really see. It's very time consuming, but we don't want to keep showing you over and over again and boring you. So after a ton of work, um, the wheels are on, the car's down, uh, the springs have got to settle a little bit so the ride light's not perfect yet. Just want to show you how wide she looks now with them wheels. The wheels literally have the most perfect offset that you could choose. Um, they still sit inside the arch. You can see we're gonna put a little bit more camber on the front, so we're gonna go about a degree more camber for track. But um, you can see how nice it sits in the arch. So I'm gonna show you how good it looks now with the new wheels on. And there you have it. Totally transformed the car. 17s, they don't even look that big on the car either. They, um, I and I always remember 17s looking massive on the RS turbos, but these ones, they've got a lovely shape to them because the spoke doesn't go all the way to the outside of the rim. So they still look a good size. Um, I'm really liking the gray look and these blue caps, these compromotive caps really set them off now. And you can see the ride height, absolutely perfect on the rear, exactly the same. So we're 
we're pretty much level across the whole board. We, I like to have a little bit more front rake, so we might drop the front stand a little bit more. But what do you think of that? So a, a big improvement over the OZ wheels. The OZ wheels are a lot lighter, so they might be getting used on track, might be putting a set of slicks on them. So these are going to be the road wheels now and the, and the wheels that we use for the show. They're going to be refurbished before summer as well because they've got a few stone chips and a, a few marks in, battle scars over the time. The, the brand new 88Rs, they really uh, set the car off as well. We're going to go triple eights, but this car is going to be driven on the road a bit. So we're going to have two sets of wheels instead uh, because the triple eights will just wear out on the road. There's no need for them because we don't drive like a maniac on the road. So it's a bit dusty and it's a bit dirty. We've had a lot of grinding, a lot of cutting, but really worth it. As you can see the offset's absolutely perfect. Really liking them. So the offset on these is an ET32 and the width of the wheels are a 17 by eight. So if you think you can't fit them with a bit of work, you can get anything to fit. So a lot of people were obviously worried about scrubbing, worried about cutting their arches, rolling their arches. If you want a, a wide set of wheels on the car, you've got to sacrifice something. So leave a comment if you like the wheels, if you don't like the wheels, what you think you would have done differently, what colour you would have done them. Um, we had them grey, so we left them grey. And I think they go really well with the carbon roof. You can't uh, go through an episode without showing the carbon roof. So now we've got all the cage, everything's looking aggressive. Fitment's absolutely perfect. So what a difference a set of wheels can make to a car. I think you agree that they're so much better looking. And the good thing about them is they don't even look too big for the car. They're, they're 17s, but they look equivalent to a 16 because the spokes design, cage, the aggressiveness now, really impressed with how it's looking. It's come so far in such a short period of time. If you've been following it from the start, you know how the car started off. It was a rust bucket really, and how far it's come. Um, if you see it at any shows in the summer, have a proper look around it. So leave a comment whether you like, you hate the wheels. Um, if you do anything different, uh, different tyres, different colour, just leave a comment, good or bad. It's nice to see what people's reactions are. So I think you agree, the car's totally transformed the look. Um, them little motor spoke wheels, they've done the job. But now we've got a set of proper comp motors on there, a little bit heavier.